Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Previously, no one here with the recording privileges. So. Yeah. Okay, now we are recording this Chaos Evolution Working Group meeting on February 12, 2020. Excellent. Hello again, everybody. Uh, um, all right. I will repost the minutes document since when Georg joins late, Zoom doesn't let him see previously posted things. Yep. Thank you, I appreciate it. And right now we're looking at, I think we're just merging or we just merged pull request 327, which updated some broken links. And I think uh, Carter is about to look at 326. Um, yes, 326. Uh, yes, so this one looks like, um, so Xavier, I remember, uh, implemented the commits with the uh, tag definition, which I think is this pull request, but it looks like he also was changing some other ones for metrics about issues. Didn't exist using the panda structure. Okay. So that's that structure. It didn't exist without, so it's, he's like doing it without the panda structure. So I guess the assumption is, I mean, pandas is a little, I mean, it's very efficient, but it's not as easy to read as mm -hmm. straight up Python, but it's a heck of a lot easier to write and make. Once you figure it out, it's easier, but I, I guess the recommendation is to not use the pandas in these implementation examples. I think. I'm okay with, I'm, I mean, it's just some test data. I mean, it looks like this is all brand new. I'm not even seeing Anything. Yeah, there's nothing even deleted. It's just a, a new example. So, yeah, um, there was some in the. If you look at the conversation, it looks like we might want to wait to hold off, or sorry, uh, wait to merge it. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like. I mean, I think what I would say is, is it looks like the other one needs to be merged first. Which one? Where is what, He says, I can, but I need the commit by tag class implemented in the other pull request, which is this one. All right. I mean, I guess my comment on this might be that the limitations of any particular tool don't really affect the, the provision of an example. The, the, I think the principal purpose of the examples is to illustrate with code the intended logic for how to calculate the metric. Mm -hmm. And it's not not to have like, okay, so first of all, it has some issue where it doesn't get events or whatever, um, or who cares? <laughs> uh, I think what's represented in the code as I read it is just, here's kind of the logic that we might use to help define it. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out. I think I might need to take a look at this pull request more in depth later. Because this one is just a implements a metric. I think it's kind of hard to tell because there's a lot of comments. I think this one does it without pandas as well. I think that given that I don't know too much, whole much about this metric or the this implementation, like I haven't been involved in the discussion, maybe we should just wait to merge this one and then come back to this one as well. Oh, okay, I see this comment. Back, which one is that implementation? Is that 312? Yeah, 312. Just updating. 
Do you have any thoughts on implementation stuff? I mean, I don't know. My, I, I don't have any thoughts. My, 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 my thought is I wonder if having the discussions about the implementation, like these are, like these are code reviews that are really that are looking at, they're really addressing questions about um, I mean, they're really like almost like software repository questions and discussions. And I think I think we I think the metrics working groups are trying to define the metrics and these add clarity to them, mm -hmm. but um, this this might be uh, getting way too specific about the actual coding practices. Mm -hmm. Is is my thought, and I, I guess we're not a big enough group here right now. But this is certainly a different kind of thing than I talk about in any other working group. Yeah. And I think, I don't know what, what you're, you're, do you have any thoughts? I mean, on the, on the, the code parts of evolution, it is very, it is a unique part of this working group. I, I don't have any thoughts on that. My approach has been to not be involved in those discussions. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that seems that, that seems perfectly reasonable. Um, I I think um, I think Carter, I'd like to add to the discussion in this working group that we raise in the general chaos group the question of whether or not. Um, example implementations like the Jupyter Notebooks that are in evolution should be managed um, separately um, and should not only include the evolution working group because there are definitely uh, examples in common risk um, and value where these kinds of notebooks could also be useful. And to have, I mean, I think it, it, and they don't become part of the standard that we release either. I don't think they're unhelpful, but I don't know that the working group trying to define the metrics, like, I think we should decide if it's a component of how we want the working groups to function and maybe what kind of parameters we want to put around it. Because I think that the principal aim is to have uh, a working logical example of if you have this commit record, for example, you would count it this way, um, mm -hmm. but with these filters uh, mm -hmm. so that implementers have a, a common reference point. And if there's questions like there, there are, Sometimes, like we we just encountered uh, a question about how some people are counting commits per week. Um, mm -hmm. We had one group counting commits per week as I take all the commits in a year and divide them by the two, and another group looking at the week years because most organizations actually define their working calendars not from January first to the thirty first, but they have a the first week of the year starts on a day and it might be in the prior year um, and it ends on a day and it, it might not be the last day of a current year. So it, you know, what is a week and what is a commits per week isn't like in that example, there are different interpretations. And so this would be the place maybe where we try to make something like that clear. I doubt we have um, in the commits filter. Mm -hmm. 
I I agree completely. I think that um, what what's the best way for me to word? I think uh, <laughs> I can edit the. If you're running the meeting, I can take notes. Um, uh, notes. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not gonna say. Um. Yeah, I completely agree, Sean. So I think with and so I think until we raise that question in the general chaos uh, call, then we can probably just hold off on these implementation pull requests, implementation specific pull requests. Yeah, I think so too. So, say, no wait. No. Let's out. Oh dear. Okay, so with those open PRs, I think we so we merged that one and then we just are gonna wait on the other three. So with that I figured we could just um, kind of get back to working on some metrics, um, you know, even though we just released them, we got to start prepping for the next one. Uh, so uh, in the release sheet, I just picked the first three that hadn't, and I will post a link to this in the chat as well. Um, so I just picked the first three that had, hadn't been released in co-development activity. Um, we can work on those. We could work on some ones from other, maybe perhaps less represented uh, categories like community growth. Um, it's up to you guys, or we can just. Can you just make it a little bit harder? Because I can't read your screen. Oh, uh, I can make my screen bigger. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I can't zoom if you need me to. You can just kind of. I know. think, for some reason, I think it's showing. Do you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, can you, did you paste that? Okay, yeah, you pasted the link to the spreadsheet, though. Yeah. I was, I was then, in the minutes, so. So, uh, like right. I was saying, Sean. I mean, oh, sorry, go ahead. So, pull requests, oh, I mean, uh, is, does pending on those mean that we did not release them? Yeah, so I just, uh, I marked all of these as released, the ones that had been, that we actually did release. And then I just picked these three and said pending. It's like, we're going to work on these three next. But I just picked those three. We could do different ones. We could, you know, I, I also don't assume we'll do all three at once. So I just picked some to, to work on. Um. So one conversation that we can also have is on the issue response time metric because we found that the common working group has a very similar metric mm. and so i don't know if you want to have that conversation now or later about how we can um, have similar metrics that are still distinct because the issue response time is a more concrete implementation of the more general common metric with time to first response. Mm -hmm. I don't see issue response time on the com. You said the common group? The common group has time to first response. Here, Sean, if you. Oh, yeah, time to first response. Okay. Yeah. So. Right. During the review process, we just added in here that line that you just had highlighted. This metric mm -hmm. is a specific case. I don't know if that's how we want to keep it, or are there other ways that we can have synergies between metrics? Let's see, so time to first response, and what's our metric called? Issue, Issue response time. time.
So the time to first response applies to everything, not just issues exactly to pull requests and emails and IRC and all that. And mm -hmm. so the issue response time is specifically looking at the time to first response. Georg, which document are we uh, looking at for what you are saying? Yeah, there's a couple. Yeah, you got to kind of follow the links out of the spreadsheets. I was confused a little bit at first. Here's the one. This the one I just pasted is the. Okay, we China and I just posted the same one. Yeah, and then <laughs> we're all on the same page. Why don't you paste it? <laughs> uh, Georg just did. Yeah, okay. So the the way we've handled this in like I had something like this in the risk working group where we had um, a metric called license count and then later in this release we released a metric called um, uh, what it was like I forget what it's called but it's basically an enumeration of all of the licenses and where they were so you had the count kind of you had the straight up count of licenses sort of implicitly just as a filter on this other metric is what we decided to do. And so I would see uh, time to first response. Is, is that a released mes metric? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sorry, I'm, and our issue response time is a released metric as well. Yes, mm -hmm. both released. Um, so Well, geez, and I just had this large mental discussion about not changing things on people, but <laughs> um, I think what we, I think we, ha so what I would propose is that we keep a metric called issue response time, but that we, we recommend uh, to the common working group, the development of uh, basically a filter for response to what? So uh, uh, I guess it would be type of response or object responded to. So um, you could have a filter for issues, essentially. Like maybe, maybe the act would just be to say, we would like to have our existing metric issue response time reference time to first response as a filter that can be applied to that metric and then be included as a filter in a future release of that metric. That seems, that's, so I would like to recommend we do that. I like it. I like adding the filter because looking at the metric, we currently have two filters, but not the one you just mentioned. Right. Um, and and so I think that the, also, the proposal is also that issue response time remains a metric in evolution. It just ends up pointing to another metric. So that if somebody has implemented or seen issue response time, that we're not taking something away, we're just telling them where it is now. I, I think there are very specific details about issue response time that warrants it being a independent or a, a separate metric. So yes, I agree with keeping it. Oh, okay. But, but now, I, yeah, so there are some more specific issues. So it almost becomes like a, geez, so, if we wanted to do a Java model, you know, I would say common is the base class and then we're extending it. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. Maybe some sort of, not like, uh, errata section in the issue response time. That's not like the word I'm looking for, but like uh, this, it's, you know, we have the general definition be in the common under the filters and then like the specific idiosyncrasies of doing issues, like collecting it about issues we list here. So does uh, something like that, is that what you're imagining? Or just having them be separate metrics, but just mentioning that this one is basically a specific version of this one. Um, yeah, so what I'm saying is that I think, I think issue response, our issue response time, issue response time becomes, we say maybe in the, in the definition or the description that this is a, a specific, is an issue specific implementation of the general metric time to first response. And like this, like this line. Um, 
did, did, was that in there? Was, was that is that line been there the whole time I've been looking at this? Yes. Yes. Well, I think it's covered then. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to bring it up because we did that as a last minute thing. Uh, when yeah. We got the metrics ready. We never actually discussed it in the working groups. I I I, I think then the notes. Uh, I'll make just make a note that um, the uh, the evolution working group approves. Um, issue response time, um, unless you object Armstrong. Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm following. Time to first response in the common working group. So, would it be? Do you, do you think it would be? Uh, I would say, I guess, appropriate to mention that, like, some of these other filters, like, explicitly mention that some of these other, like, maybe these other filters, these, like, uh, like the role of the responder would also apply to this? I think when we say the metrics are specific, like, that metric that like- It's implied enough. I, th I think that, so what I want to avoid is overcomplicating the interrelationships between the metrics. Okay. So I don't know what you think you are, but I think just this reference is sufficient and um, if we got, if we started to get overly specific, I think we start to then couple the metrics or perhaps even make them redundant in a way that over time will become confusing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like I think down the road when we have a more fleshed out full set of metrics, perhaps we do something, we do a refactoring like that, but I don't think we've built enough to start refactoring what we've built too aggressively. Okay. Then, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. It's only and, now that we are starting to see some of these super metrics and then fine grained right. subtypes. Right. Right. Um, well, it, that's actually part of the reason I asked that redundancy because this filter is in this one, that response from Roland project and in the time to first response. So I, they don't match exactly. I don't know if they should match exactly, but. I just wanted to see if that was which parts of, of them. So the filter response from Roland project, for example, first maintainer response is in our is in the evolution one, and then that's a filter. And then in the common metric, the role of responder um, is a filter. So it's like the same filter but worded slightly differently. And that I was thinking might get confusing. So maybe we just like remove it from the evolution one and well, I think or just make it say the same thing or just not worry no, about it. I think don't worry about it because. Uh, the common metric actually suggests that they only count maintainer responses. Um, uh, I think the evolution metric um, makes that one possible example. I think, so I think, I think, I don't think those have to be, I mean, I don't think they have to be perfectly aligned because my experience at this point is that people are interested not not that people aren't only interested in maintainer responses. It's not only maintainers who, whose responsiveness helps people stay part of a community. You know, if there's some other person who's responding right away, I, I don't think that somebody contributing early on, the new contributor really probably clearly recognizes who the maintainers even are. You know, mm -hmm. unless, I mean, maybe in some cases like high profile project like Kubernetes maybe, but I think on a lot of projects, like I honestly couldn't tell you who all the maintainers of Augur are. I could maybe I could if I like looked it up, but <laughs> like I wouldn't know when I'm looking at an issue thread. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's fine that there's a little bit of differentiation there. I okay. Yeah, I agree. It's, we don't have to get over complicated on these things. Yep. So okay. one thing that I want to um, continue uh, the thought that Sean had mentioned is adding a filter to the time to first response. And I have a draft if you want me to share my screen. Sure. Sure. Okay. Cummins not here. Let's talk about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think right. there we go. Okay, so under filters, I added this line 25 type of activity, for example, issues, see metric issue response time, emails, chat, code reviews. Yeah, I think that's I think that's helpful. Um, it's kind of a cross it's a, it's a helpful cross indexing. Yeah, and I think I think is what I like about this way of working is as we see those attempts to cross index, we can just implement them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um. All right. I'll Sorry, you're issuing that as a pull request to common. Yep. I'm on it. So let's see. I'm creating the PR right now. Okay. So in a way, uh, the team that implements these metrics is, could be a little bit uh, general across the working groups, right? Because if one, if let's say like uh, you suggested the notebook for Jupiter, if more than two different working groups are sharing this kind of uh, information, they can still work like it seems that implements metrics across uh, Across yeah. the working groups, yeah, because I, people would define what uh, metrics doesn't necessarily need to implement them themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, so, like in a perfect world, so so what I was saying earlier is, I think where we're at right now is we just have a lot of metrics to build, and so where we find these interconnections because the working groups are fairly independent. Yeah, we we propose noting them as we did in the release of our metric and as Georg's making a pull request uh, for the common metric to sort of make the link go both ways. I mean, I think uh, as we build out more metrics, that might become complex and perhaps some refactoring um, would be would be called for. But right now, I don't think we have enough metrics to worry about that problem. Okay. Like, you know, it, it's um, sort of like, if you don't, it, it's like with writing software, it, you want to get it built and then optimize it, mm -hmm. refactor it once you know what it is you actually built, um, instead of trying to worry about where the lines are, because that impedes just basically getting the working code or the working metric into the world. Yeah. And the more core, I guess, you know, it's like basic communication theory or group theory. The more, the more interconnections you create, the more complex communication becomes and the slower progress occurs. Explains mm -hmm. a lot about coders. <laughs> okay, that uh, concludes my my thought. Yeah, no, that was, I, I appreciate you making that part of the release. Yeah. Okay. So shall we go ahead and work on some metrics? Is there anything else we want to talk about first? Or should we just start? I, mean, I, think some... I, I don't have, um, like I'm just kind of looking at um, the 
ones that are highlighted. Um, if I was to reflect on all of the conversations that I've had with community managers, um, and I don't know what you think, Georg, but when I look at like code development activity, of all of the things in chaos, I think like I, I do not oppose developing these metrics for the next release. I think they're part of the basic inventory, but I hear a lot of interest and demand for metrics related to new contributions and new contributors and being able to track them. And I guess those are under community growth. And right now we don't have any, or we have one new contributors closing issues that's been released. I don't know if it's if it's filling out the basics that's the first priority or or community growth or like community growth where I'm hearing more questions. Do you have an opinion? Is Armstrong, do you have an opinion? Mm. Uh, Your, no. I I'm of the same impression that you shared that the community growth metrics are the more interesting ones. The code, development, yeah. the code development activity, those have been somewhat covered by the basic metrics GitHub already provides. Mm -hmm. um, and then building on top of that, what people are really interested in are the other, the community growth ones. Yeah, yeah. well um, said. So yeah, I think like new contributors of commits, new contributors of issues, um, New what contributors thing? sounds like it could be a common metric. Which one? The first one. New contributors. I definitely think. Can... I think we talked. Did we talk about that? They have a contributor location. They're. I think they're more interested in a in the like when I look at the. I don't. I don't oppose uh, that being a common metric. We should ask the question, um, should new contributors be a common metric or an evolution metric? I think it's uh, new contributors is a filter on contributors and just filter by their first contribution, date of first contribution. Uh, or which and contributors is a metric in in um, common, right? It is. I'm checking whether yes. it's released. Yeah. Well, yeah, we added this metric to common in November. Yeah, I remember. We, yeah, we added the contributors metric. Yeah, because it was distinct from committers. And so I think new contributors might. I think that that could be, a, that that's a filter. I think you could swing that. Yeah, I, I think, I think let's not build that metric. Let's recommend to the common group that <laughs> new contributors become um, a filter on their contributors metric? Uh, so the I'm looking at the metric right now, the contributors metric, and there is a filter for time frame of activity in the project. Yeah. And we could just say this is for new contributor, or for example, you can get new contributors from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think yeah I think the filter needs you can, um, and so the question is, new contributors is probably like when I think of new contributors and how people parameterize it. Um, The 
there's a, I guess the nuance is, is a person and you can, there's probably, you know, I guess it's kind of covered. Um, let me find, I just opened it up. So what I'm thinking is people coming to chaos have the question, okay, who are my new contributors? And it would be a service to them to have a metric that is called new contributors. Even if it's just the redirect to the contributors one saying, implement this activity date as a filter to see who is new contributor. Yeah. And I, I think that also by, 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 I mean, they cover a lot of the, the, I mean, the territory for new contributors, I think was uh, partly the reason it went to common is because there was a focus initially in evolution on committers specifically. Um, so yeah, we could, I'm, I'm gonna, do we, I'm okay creating a metric called new contributors that we, I mean, we'd have to fully elaborate on the definition, but I think that that's useful and that it's, in, and to say by design, its implementation will be um, uh, some set of filters on the contributors metric, but we're going to elaborate more fully on what a new contributor is. Is that kind of the message, Georg? That is in line with what I'm thinking, yes. Okay. making that in the notes right now. Um, so I guess on the spreadsheet that would, we, we're saying that we're gonna build it in reference um, new contributors. And I guess it looks like you created a Google doc for it already, Carter. So. Um, oh, sorry, I was muted. Yes, I'm also going to add in just here. Um, reference, referencing, referencing, uh, I just add that extra note. Am I we're doing the same thing right now? Ooh, I did not want to do it. I just edited your Google Doc. Okay, I was uh, working on the spreadsheet. I was trying to make it go wider, but I didn't. I, I, added the, I just put a, a note in the Google Doc that uh, reference. <laughs> like the Doc just refle refreshed, and we both type. We both corrected the spelling. Yeah. At the same time, that was weird. <laughs> that was very weird. Okay, okay, so collaborative editing, but not collaborative correcting. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to do new contributors, um, if new contributors of commits and new contributors of issues actually become filters on new contributors. Right, do we need to really fully develop a separate metric for types of things. I don't. I, I don't think so, unless there are such specific, like idiosyncrasies, like specific things about them that they would warrant their own pages, which I guess we'd have to think about it a little bit. That's the only reason I would think they would not be a filter. Otherwise, I'm, I'm with you, Sean. I think they should just remain a filter of new contributors 
But what, what do you think, Georg? Should we develop these actual metrics for new contributors of the specific types that are enumerated in the common working group? Or? I think that it makes sense to have them as separate metrics. Okay. Because people coming to chaos um, might not see the full potential of every metric if we put too much into it and teasing it out into, you know, more detailed leveled metrics mm -hmm. allows people to say, yeah, I'm looking at new contributors of commits. Okay. And that also from an implementation perspective, we can say we are implementing the metric. new contributors of commits and not just saying new contributors and then it's not clear which one we're implementing. Yeah, okay. So that, that, I think it's great clarity having all of these detailed metrics. Okay. But if it's too much work, we can start with the general. No, metric. no, I wanted to, I, I was, I think, I think you're right. I think your point about how people will consume the metric, um, those are useful and, um, making new contributors have a lot of detail buried in it makes it less makes it more difficult for people to use the metrics i think so i i'm i'm with you should we go ahead and start uh fleshing out new contributors then I mean, it is eight minutes to 12, so. Um, I would like to put fleshing out these new contributor metrics on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Um, only because we've had a lot of good discussion and I don't, I don't know, but what are you, what does everyone else think? I, I agree. We only have seven minutes left. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we have time to really flesh one out right now. So, um. okay, that sounds good to me. I'm just gonna make sure I uh, contributor metrics. Okay. For the agenda for our next meeting. Um, I think yeah. that was everything I had. Um, so, unless there's anything else, should we get out of here a couple minutes early? Yeah, let's do it. I always love cutting meetings short. Yeah, I think, <laughs> right? I I think, yeah, I think we reached a logical point of uh, departure and we don't need to use up all the time. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, we'll see you all in a couple of weeks. See you. It's in, it's in two weeks, right? Like yeah, the, two weeks. Yep. It's every two weeks on this one. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye bye.